And Sa Sasha Altschuler, you should know. <laughs> okay, Sasha, what was it like winning Jewish Girl of the Year? Honestly, it was really exciting. Um, I was really humbled that I was able to create such a strong sense of Jewish community here in DC, having only lived here for less than a year. It was really great having a lot of my friends come out to um, the voting session, as well as meeting new people at the happy hour as well. So it was really exciting, and I really thank Gather the Jews for giving me this opportunity. Okay, and um, speaking of Gather the Jews, you were an Open Doors Fellow um, at GTJ. Um, how did you get involved with Gather the Jews, and kind of what do you do um, in this role as, in, as your, in your fellowship? So I first heard about Gather the Jews through a friend when I moved to D.C. They told me that Gather the Jews provides you with a lot of different resources in the Jewish community, such as events and housing, a job board, things like that. Um, and then I heard about this Open Doors Fellowship, which um, gives people the opportunity to welcome new Jews in D.C. And I thought that that would be perfect for me. Um, because as a new Jew in DC, I didn't know that many people and kind of had to make friends and go to events by myself, which I was comfortable with, but I wanted to give people the opportunity to have that link to go with people to events to, to, to know what was happening in DC. And that's really what the Open Doors Fellowship is all about, is really connecting the Jewish community. Um, and through the resources that Gather the Jews gives you, the Open Doors Fellows are really able to be that main connector for people. Great. And we're, we're here in the offices of Jewish Women International, downtown Washington. Tell me a little about your roles at uh, JWI as the Young Women's Leadership Network Coordinator and the National Library Initiative Project Coordinator. Okay, so as you probably know, JWI is the leading Jewish organization empowering women and girls. So we work on advocacy, community education, training programs, and philanthropy. And I've had the opportunity to run both the Young Women's Leadership Network and the National Library Initiative. So the National Library Initiative, we try to build 100 children's libraries in battered women's shelters all across the country. And so we've already built 50, and my job is to help with that final product of building 50 more. So it's been a really great experience. In February, we launched our Book by Book Capital campaign, and right now we have about 30 shelters who are interested in obtaining these children's libraries, and right now we're just seeking out donors. Um, to help build um, those libraries. We already have three that are about to be in the works in Detroit, Sacramento, and Cape Cod. So we're really excited about that. The Young Women's Leadership Network is to give professional development opportunities as well as a social network for young Jewish women in their 20s and 30s. So we plan events that allow women to gain professional development skills while also really connecting together. Um, we recently had a financial series where we had investment workshop and learning about taxes and things like that. And we also went to Baked by, Baked by Yael, a new cake poppery, where we learned about entrepreneurship as well as we're able to make our own cake pops. So the Young Women's Leadership Network, we really try to make opportunities for young women to connect with each other as well as learn about themselves spiritually and professionally. Great. And um, now you grew up in, in San Diego, the San Diego area. Um, mm -hmm. How does San Diego compare to Washington, D.C.? It's actually really different, and I've got that question a lot, um, considering the weather is a huge difference. Um, the thing that I really like about D.C. is that people are always walking to work, and so you know that people are, are kind of going with a purpose. You know that people are, are going to do great things. San Diego, a lot of people use cars, so you don't really see that kind of professional um, attitude that, that D.C. has, and that's something I really, really enjoy. Um, I also think that I can pick up a conversation with people in D.C. much more than really anywhere else, whether it's on the metro or just walking um, or in several different events. I feel like I'm always interested in what people are doing in D.C. and, and trying to learn more. Um, and I think that's something really special that D.C. has to offer that really any other city doesn't. Okay, great. And then you went to the University of Michigan. And yes. tell me a little about this uh, performance group that you formed at uh, U of M. So my freshman year of college, I started a group called the Smile Bringer Singers, um, kind of mixing community service as well as performance. So we sang to nursing homes, homeless shelters, family centers, centers for kids with mental disabilities. And it was really a way for people to use their creative expression and mix it with community service. And I thought that if I had the passion to do both of those things, that maybe other people did. 
So I started it and it was only seven people. Um, and throughout the years, I created an executive board, the club grew, and by the end of my senior year, we had about 30 people in the organization as well as we had to have auditions because people were really excited about the group. So it's still going strong. We already have a new executive board and I'm just really happy and excited for, for what that was able to do for people at the University of Michigan. We created you know, a small little family um, of people who all had similar interests, so it was really great. Great. And what is, um, we talked a little bit about this, but what is your favorite part about living here in the nation's capital? My favorite part about living in D.C. is that there's always things to do. Um, I love hill country barbecues, outdoor barbecue. Um, I love jazz in the garden. I love all the different museums. I'm on a kickball team. I think that there's just so many things uh, that D.C. offers, and I really like to take advantage of everything that it has. I always I'm up for trying new things in the city, and, and I'm glad that it has so many of those options for me and for everybody living here. And do you live here in the district? Yes. Okay. What, what area? Or? I live around DuPont Adams Morgan area. Okay, great. And then, um, last question, what do you like most about the Jewish community here? That's a good question. I think that I've, I really owe a lot of my success and happiness in DC to the Jewish community. Um, when I first moved to DC, I had an internship and it was the Jewish members of the organization that I was working for that really made me feel at home and part of the community. Um, my CEO is Jewish and um, now working at JWI, I just came into this great organization with really welcoming um, and warm colleagues. Um, so that's in, in a work setting. And then as a community, I just think that I've, that the Jewish community in D.C. has just been really opening and welcoming, um, especially the Gather the Jews community, which is why I've continued my involvement, um, as well as just the more, pe the more Jewish people that I meet in D.C., the more I realize that I want to continue to surround myself with the Jewish community because those are the friendships that I've made, the connections that I've made, and um, have really been my support system here in D.C. Um, and I think I've been really lucky in that matter, in a work setting and a personal setting, to be able to have formed that community and really met some great um, and interesting and unique people here. Okay, well, thank you. Thank you.